Don't worry, folks. We're almost done with this level. Just one more vent to seal and we're good. It's pretty easy. You just go up there and touch it. That's all you gotta do. It's only... As long as you have the satchel charge. Okay. Let's get on out of here. There's nothing else for us to do. No more of this stinking nap. No more. Guiding anything? Boars. You know, I should really use the boars more often. They're pretty sluggish, but they get their job done. Yeah, I think we go down here. Could use this. Thank you. Saving this energy totem is really not that hard as compared to the last one. Remember the death marshes, the purlins, they've wrecked our shit. I mean, I think I'm confident enough to beat that without dying. I'm not even sure if I'm going the correct way. We'll find it. We'll find out where we're going. Okay. I ended up lost again. God, and I think I'm going the right way and like take either a really long direction or or just end up going the wrong way and ended up back. Let's just get out of this level. There's something about this game that we didn't see yet, but I will show you. Hmm. Turok 1 had it. Why doesn't Turok 2 have it? Turok 2 does have it. Plasma rifle. Sniper capability enabled. Anything else? Grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. Okay. Ultra hell. See if we would have got the key. Oh what? It's open all of a sudden? Huh. Oh well it doesn't matter. Cause I think last time I tried to leave with well, I got the key. I didn't. I couldn't leave. It trapped me in here, and I had to do the whole level again. Oh, well. all right. Energy totem number four. Let's do this. You must save the totem, Turok. How did you not die? How are you still alive? God, I think three of them. Yeah, get your brain sucked. Brain suckage. We are done here. Or are we? This is not the hub. Oh, you thought Turok 2 didn't have boss battles. Well, you're wrong, it does. This is the blind one boss. God, these things freak me out. Just look at them.
And what is he? He's a giant eye. He's a he's the blind one boss, but he's an eye. It kind of doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah, yeah, because that's going to do a lot good. Unlike Turok 1, these boss battles are completely different. Turok 1, you just basically shoot the damn thing and that's it. Some enemies are tougher than others. But no, uh... Enemies, bosses right here, they actually have weak spots. Thank you, Aeon. But the thing about Turok 1, they had cool death animations when you die from a boss. This one doesn't. You die, you die, you just... It does spawn some health. a lot of room because you don't want to dodge too much you don't want to go in that ooze cool now we can attack no we got one more tentacle to destroy okay now am I done here if I'm done here I'm done here let me just collect some ammo ew we are done! Our first boss battle! Okay, we got some new cheats. Let's see what we got. Rod mode, stick mode, big hands and feet mode, big head mode. Okay, big head and big hands and feet mode. It's self-explanatory. Stick mode, the enemies are just super skinny. That's pretty much it. Okay, we're done with level 4. Thank god, I hate that level. We are ready to tackle level 4. Five. Yep. Ooh, this one looks fancy, high tech, and all that. Well, let's let Adon explain it more. The Hive of the Mantis. The Mantis are an aggressive and extremely intelligent race of insects that have established a large colony in the Lost Land in recent years. The Mantis are incapable of pity, remorse, or kindness. They exist solely to further their own existence. To this end, the Primogen has persuaded the Mantids to help free him by promising to give them ripe new worlds to infect. The first world on their list is Earth. Rift gates are being ready to transport an army of Mantid soldiers to your world. Destroying the Master Computer will render the Rift gates useless. Your mission objectives are as follows. Destroy three queen embryos. Destroy the master computer. Locate the energy totem and defend it at all costs. Roger that. Plasma rifle. Love how you just. Ha ha ha. 
Okay, here we are. Hive of the Mantids. Brand new enemies. We won't be seeing uh, any of those dinosaurs anymore. Except when we go backtrack to go find the primogen keys and whatnot. So yeah, these are Mantids. So, what's their deal? Oh, well, I don't know if you understand what, understood what Adon said, but basically... Uh, the Primogen told the Mantids, hey, free me and I'll give you some new worlds for you to infect. And they're like, oh, alright. So, our pl- oh, what happened? Eh, <laughs> got too close to your breaching charge, buddy. So yeah, Primogen said, hey, I'll give you new worlds to infect. And uh, Planet Earth is- Planet Earth is- first on the list, and so we can't let that happen. So we gotta destroy a couple computers so they can't teleport there. Ah, oh, I hate the flying ones. What? Sweet. I really love the cerebral, cerebral boar. They're pretty generous on the ammo. Ten, ten shots, I think that's fair enough. And the ammo is not that difficult to find. <laughs> See, the, the enemies are smarter than you think. They actually run away from this thing, because they know what it is. They're like, oh, fuck, and they just run away. Like, oh, no, 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 no. I just love how smart these enemies are. It's funny when you use it on other enemies, maybe like the, those yellow dinosaurs. They run away, like, ah, ah. These guys run away, too, but it's not as funny. open. Whoops. Just <laughs> hide the mantids. Those, those sounds they make is like kind of creepy. Can't explain it, but yeah. Alright, I'm ended here and we'll explore more of the hive of the mantids. Goodbye.